Hi, this is Chris from windsound.com. In this video, I'll be showing you how to connect and use your electric drum kit in a DAW. In this example, I'll be showing it through Pro Tools 8. Let's check it out. There's several different ways you can go about this. One way is to use the electric drum kit like a controller, same way as you would use a MIDI keyboard, where the drum kit itself isn't actually making any sounds, but it but it triggers the sounds, and all the sounds lay in your computer, or DAW, or wherever you happen to have your sounds located in your computer. And if you want to use that, you would put it into a instrument track. Another way is to use the electric drum kit as a MIDI instrument, in which case you would put it into a MIDI track track. And so, and as if you know MIDI, you know that this is really the most the way that you have the most flexibility within it. If you don't know MIDI too well, just to give you a brief example, you can move the notes all around, change the velocity, change change the key, or whatever. You can completely change the sounds if you want to. That's all. That's all up to you. Then the last way that you can use this is using it as a audio track, which is really nice. I use it myself all the time too. If you want to do that, you just simply put it into an audio track. And though, though the one thing about this this way, using it this way, is it's kind of a what you see is what you get. All the sounds are being generated from the electric keyboard, electric drum set, I'm sorry. And it's the same as recording a guitar with a microphone. You can change it a bit, but you can only change so much. It's not nearly as flexible as using it as using it, the kit as a MIDI instrument. I mean it's all about what you want to do and like what you need it for. There's no right or wrong way. It's all about what your needs are. I use it I use the drum kit as MIDI and audio both myself. So it's really all about what you want to do with it yourself personally. So now that we have that out of the way, the different ways you can use it, the ways you connect the um, electric drum kit is simply this. I'm going to be using the Yamaha DT Explorer, for example, for the electric drum head. Okay, so if we're doing the audio check, you want to take two quarter inch cables and plug them into the outputs, the left and the right. Then you plug, simply plug them into the left and right input. I'll be using the mini M-Bots, for example. And then, yeah, that that's it. You just plug it out of the output of the Yamaha and into the inputs left and right of the mini bots. Now, now say if you want to do the other two examples, the controller or the MIDI instrument, you have to have a MIDI cable. And unfortunately, as you can see, there's no no place for MIDI in the M bots. So if that's all you have, sorry, but you can't really use the other two examples, which is fine. But uh, there's nothing wrong with the audio track way. But if you want to do the um, the controller and the MIDI instrument, if you have, I'm using the uh, Digi 002 track for example. I mean rack, sorry. You simply take, put it out of the MIDI out of the drum kit, and then you put it into one of the several different. MIDI inputs into your rack right there and then you're ready to rock and roll and then and also make sure to set the track to the right setting as I mentioned before and that that is connecting your drum kit to a DAW simple as pie you can always get in touch with Chris at wingsound.com and make sure to check out more of his videos including these titles featuring Pro Tools 8 available on demand at wingsound.com